Well, it's not very convenient timing, but I uh, finished up cleaning the bike, finished loading up a video, had this box sitting in the trailer for a few days, and now it's time for the unboxing. So let's put our camera here in the trailer, and I'll show you what we're looking at. This is the Fiddlin' T7. It is an e-bike, folks. So yeah, my mountain bike got stolen out of the backyard years ago. I never replaced it. Wanting to go bike riding again, and and I see, yeah, I'll get another bike, I'll get another bike, and I, I never do. And then uh, since seeing the Suron out at uh, Augusta, the guys from one of the guys from Boy Quebec, boys there, got a Suron. I keep bringing it out, and that thing looks awesome. It had me wondering, could you rip on the trails with your buddies and still have a good time? It says it's an on and off road bike, so. I'm more curious as to uh, the off-road side of things, right? How will it perform? Can you still enjoy a day out on the trails on the thing? Top speed, 28 miles an hour. And what else? Full suspension. Hydraulic disc brakes. It's got all kinds of goodies, right? So it's, uh, I think it's like 48 volts, 1200 watt output, uh, 20 amp hour. What else? I don't know. We'll go through some of the specs as we get into it, crack it open and, uh, yeah, so we'll figure what the hell. We'll get you guys to join us on a little unboxing of the e-bike. And then, like I said, uh, first chance I get, probably not today, weather's been pretty crummy as it is, but um, we'll get out on it. I wanna hit the trails, I wanna see, see what it's like. What it be like. could just do that. Maybe we won't need it. All right. Fat tire e-bike. Cutters might be more appropriate. We got a lot of zip ties. This looks like it's packaged fairly well. Cuts a little off. That might make it a little easier, boys. Four inch wide by 26 CST. That's pretty cool. They make lots of ATV tires. I see they come with uh, fenders, which uh, we probably won't use, only because who uses fenders? Should find the battery and get it charged enough. They say four to six hours charge time. Eight speed Shimano, Bafang hub motor, full suspension, right? And you can adjust rebound as well and compression. Yeah, that should be pretty cool. And then there's an air inlet. So you can actually pump it up with a uh, tire pump to adjust, which is kind of cool. Aluminum alloy frame, some nice welds, I gotta say. Decent, so we'll have to find the key, figure out how to release the battery, find the charger, which has gotta be in one of those boxes. Now it's available in three color schemes. I think you can get uh, yellow and black, the matte black, and then they have some real funky uh, finished one that, uh, I don't know what it, what they call it, actually. I think it says on the side of the box what they called it, chameleon, because uh, it just changes color every which way you look at it, right? Some pretty funky paint, I'll say. All in all, this thing looks like it's fairly decent quality. Ah, price point, 2,200 bucks USD. That's American dinero, boys. So that's like a million dollars Canadian, right? Quick lock which is decent. They didn't use a quick lock on the front tire, which is probably a good thing because of the size of it and the weight. I would imagine you would, uh, I know I'm gonna feel better about no one's bolted on there. What have we got in this box? In this box, we have a headlight. Little, very cool. That looks awesome. Pedals. Aluminum with studs too, so they're gonna be grippy as all hell. That's pretty cool actually. Look at that boys. We don't have to even go into our toolbox. They provided everything. It's a nice little bag, a little felt bag for your tool pouch, that's cool. You got a reflector for the rear of the bike. Gonna hang down from your seat, I'm sure. Certainly looks like it. Yeah, gonna snap right in there. Well, isn't that too, too easy? That took a long time to install, didn't it? Have we got a charger yet? Let's get that battery out and charging. Yep, there it is. Okay. The battery, I should make mention, has a Samsung lithium, right? So 
Should be, uh, you know, should be a good quality. Climb grade, 30 degrees. Okay, we didn't know that. Maximum load we didn't mention is 330 pounds. So that's pretty cool. There we go. Mm, you're a big old girl. It says it's green. Ah, you hinge. And then locks. Like so. Okay. Capped. Handlebars are on. Let's run another tire on it. Get the kickstand down. Yeah, buddy. Hey, how do we do on the handlebars for straight? Yeah, she looks pretty dead nuts. Lightweight. The components that they're putting on it. Battery, obviously, in your hub. Majority. Then obviously you got a pretty beefy frame here. That's pretty wild actually. Give them a little snug with their 13. Or is that gonna be a 15 gap? Maybe, yep. Yeah. I hear you, Crow. Gonna come right off and in through the sides, I see. Easy enough. Okay, so this whole setup has to be tightened up. I've left that loose. Tighten that up a little bit. Take your cord and your cord, obviously through the inside, just like that. That's it. I'm not putting the fenders on. I don't think we need them. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm into that look. I'm not. We're going with it. Gives it more off-road appeal. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. This thing looks pretty kick-ass. Preload. Heavy, yes. Ah, nice clickers. Wow. Fit and finish is pretty nice. Rock and roll, cooch coo. If we feel like we need to add a little more pressure, we will. Okay, well, that's really nice. Sorry, let's fire this bad boy up. My thing behind you or in front of you? Don't matter, you can go rip, just have fun. You know, I have to check on me a little bit. If I keep up, I keep up. If I don't, I doubt I will, but um, we're gonna put this baby right on up to five. It's got the option to pedal with assistance which I'm not really looking to do. Then we got this throttle here, so let's try that out. In 100%, I have no idea what kind of distance, but I figured we'd go uh, visit our buddy's Spaz. This is real wild. Oh, you weird. Oh, okay. He's got a little zing. Holy crap. Okay, front and rear suspension, good thing. Actually handling some of this not too bad. I have the tire pressure load a little bit. I think they said max 30, I'm running 20. I think I prefer foot pegs, but this is again, an assisted bicycle really, so what are we doing, we're doing 20, 20 mile an hour. Oh, she's on cruise control place. You pin it for more than eight seconds and you get cruise control. Woo -hoo -hoo. I like that feature. You don't have to hold that throttle the whole time. Brakes are nicely located, nice uh, levers. Hit that and it cancels out your uh, cruise control right on. Huh. So quiet. Really allows me uh, the opportunity to uh, enjoy that exhaust system sounds awesome so it is governed right out of the hole like it doesn't give you all the power right away so 
That's kind of like a safety feature, I assume. Young lad had, I don't even know if he's been on that one yet. This might be Logan's first trip on it. I think it is. Can we keep up to the old Renegade? I highly doubt her. The old flat tires, 4x26. Kind of perfectly suited for this crap. Woo! Stent is working awesome though, man. That provides a nice plush ride, really. She's not very warm out. We received this thing just in time to really get out for a rest because it's getting pretty cold. Bike feels pretty solid. Quality looks decent. I think it's crazy. All right, so if you paddle, when you stop paddling, it stops assisting. That's kind of good. And then you can just pick it up with your throttle. That's nice. All right, we're not on the max range. All right, we set it so it could go all nine levels instead of five. I did. I changed it. So let's see what she gets up to now. That should be a lot more muddy back here, but I guess not. So your throttle's got a little bit of a lag to it. it seems like about a second's worth. You'd like to see them nip that down to less than half a second. What we got there? Let's go that way. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Give you a good suspension test, eh? Haha! -ha. That's pretty cool! No problem! Ha! -ha right on, man! This is cool! Pissing around the old mulch pile. Oh, almost a little air there. Just about. Whoa! She gets going a little quick there. Trying to go a little too quick on That's neat. I think it's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty wild. That's what I mean. Like, you were even the, the straight stretch I was giving it, and you're only like two or three seconds behind me. Really, eh? Yeah. Actually, works pretty good. Yeah. I'm impressed. I'll try it one more time. Yeah. Oh, oh. No problem. She got her. I'll put my foot down for a little balance. Wow. No problem, eh? So, there is somewhere, I think, where it tells you. Right there, okay. So, zero watt output. Okay, 130, 300. So, it actually tells you the output, which is kind of neat. going to be keeping up to your buddies on the wheelers but you're not going to fall too far behind makes me wonder if uh you know those surrons and stuff they're more fitted for just off-road can they can they keep up on a, a, a day a rip you know basically a good 50 80 mile rip i don't know if they have that kind of range off-road or not these days but uh i'm not into ev vehicles i'm more of a horsepower guy but um when it comes to bicycles, I think these are uh, viable products. Pretty cool little fun, fun toys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 greasy section. Right on. Whoa. 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 <laughs> That's cool. Top speed. 
Here we go. 27, 28. There it is. Maximum right there. Still ride 28, right? Not bad. Nice. Not bad. Super impressive suspension. I gotta say that. I haven't even messed with it yet. It feels like it's set up nicely. There, we're leaving my son in the dust. In all fairness, he doesn't remember this trail all that well. So, and I got the 34s on there, so he's trying to take it somewhat easy. said 11, 11 kilometer trip. I have a feeling that when I turn this off, it's gonna come back on with a little more battery power than that. But I was repping. What's going on, Jigger? Oh, man, it's home. No, I. He's over back north. Oh, did he go back north already? Yeah. I'm okay. Stuff back for my mom. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I'm just testing out the old e-bike, bud. Oh, wee. Yeah. yeah. He's got a big ass battery on it. Yeah, isn't it? I like the shock. 20 amper. Suspension works really good. You going through the ditches with this thing? I went through the trails from Westbrook to here. <laughs> All the ATV trail. Stayed on her. It's pretty clean too. Holy fuck, do you see the size of that bridge? No. What happened? I think it was round or something. Yeah, so thought I'd see if it could make it to your place and back. It's at 54% already, but I think once I turn it back on, it's probably going to bump itself back up. That's so far. I don't think the cold does anything helping to it though. No. Holy, he's flying now. Bump her up. Yeah, and if you if you hold the throttle pin for eight seconds, it goes automatically into cruise. Oh, so you can just let off. Just holds that speed. So cool. Yeah, it works pretty good, eh? I like the shocks and like they're really sweet. Did the battery power come back up maybe at all? Uh, 72, two. yeah. Dead two. You 54. said it was at 50 something, right? 54, yeah. 54, it's up to 72. So just Every a little a little break, you know what I mean, almost. Yeah, it actually works really good. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm that's awesome. I'm surprised, yeah. We'll change up some batteries here, Logan, and then we'll head her back to the truck. Alright, me and the young lad are going to have a race back to the truck. He's going to take the trails, I'm going to take the road, let's see what happens. Alright, let's see who wins this race. Don't go too hard, son, please. impressed with this unit I think he's gonna beat us by how much I don't know nineteen percent we're getting eleven hundred watts output keeping us at twenty six it's a good little clip for a bicycle Back to the truck, no problem though. Down to 
going to 15%. Holy shit, we're gonna win! Holy shit, we're gonna win! <laughs> we got him! He'd have to be ripping to beat us! There's no way! We got him! I would have never thought! I can't believe it, boys and girls. That's pretty impressive. Battery charge, not so impressive, but again, we shut the bike off. I'll, I'll do that. We'll shut her down and give the uh, controller time to cool off and the motor. We'll see what it says there, right? Yeah, we beat them. That's impressive. We'll try out these brakes, eh? Kind of stop the power this bad boy guy. Coming in hard, across the line, locking her up. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, she's doing a burnout, boys. at the road. I came in the same time you went in. Shocked as shit. The brakes work awesome. Yeah. Big time. Oh, I'm shocked as shit. I thought for sure you'd be uh, waiting for us. Well, we pretty much would have came in at the same time if I came out from up there. We were even right to the end of this road. You hit the trail exact same time I pulled in. Yeah. You didn't see me? I saw you. No, it was great. Well, that's been my off-road review on it. It actually worked pretty good. I mean, it could use a little more on the low-end um, acceleration, but I see why they have it set up that way for safety so you don't just shoot yourself into a tree or a car or, or whatever, right? So it's probably the better way to have it. However, I think for off-road use, it could maybe use uh, a setting where you can unlock the, a little bit more lower torque, right? Yeah. Um, but it actually dealt with the little hills and stuff really easily i will take it over to fort henry and maybe over to the bridge as well and just um see how it deals with some uh, steeper grade hills right but all in all super impressed with it quality's not even bad man not bad at all
Which one? Okay, we lost the camera, boys. There's Sir John A's burial right there. And we have one camera left. So we're gonna have to steal you guys and give the old summaration here. So there you have it. We just got back. My camera just died. 5%, 40 miles. That's pretty impressive. Like I said, we just took the long way around town. So, yeah. Little one. Nice job. Pretty impressive. Whew.